All right, to start off the tutorial, we're gonna be creating a deluxe account right here through TurboTax. As we start, we are going to have a link in the show notes below. It'll take you to this page. It does support the channel and it allows you to start your taxes now. So let's hop on in with the deluxe account and get started. So one of the important things that you'll have to start with is that it's going to ask you how you utilized your taxes last year. So uh, for the purposes of this trial, we are going to say that we utilized a different tax software. Hit continue. It's gonna take us to start creating our account. You're going to require an email address, create a username. They do recommend you put a phone number just in case you need to have a double verification and then you will create a password as well. Once you have all of those added in, you're going to create your account. For this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and add all of those in and then head on over to the next screen. For this page, you're going to add your first name, your last name, your date of birth, as well as your zip code. Once you have all of that information entered, you're going to head and hit continue. One of the things that you can do here is you can upload a PDF of last year's taxes, but if you don't have that, you can find it here through this link, find my PDF, or you can say that you and your spouse filed separate returns last year if that is the case as well. If you do have your tax PDF from last year, you can browse and attach it through this link right here. For this purpose, we're gonna go ahead and hit skip upload. And from here, they're gonna ask you a little bit more about your tax situation. So they're gonna ask you to click on one of these options, whether you are single, married, or maybe it's just a little complicated. For this purpose, we're gonna go ahead and hit the single option. Next, they're going to ask which of these applied in 2020. Did you get any children or dependents? Were you a college student? Do you own a home? And have you paid rent? So we're gonna go ahead and hit the paid rent option for this, and then hit the continue button at the bottom here. And through this, TurboTax is still trying to get a better picture of your financial situation. So again, you're gonna select anything that happened in 2020. Did you have your college express tuition, vehicle payments, got a job, if you had any childcare expenses, owned rental property, received alimony, bank account interest, if you sold or traded cryptocurrency, had any medical expenses, and or sold stocks or investments. For this video, we are going to go ahead and click the sold stocks and investments option. And as you can see, they always love to offer some encouragement here, letting us know that we're speeding towards the finish line. So what they're gonna do is ask you to check all of this information to make sure that it looks correct. If it does, you're gonna go ahead and hit this button that says, let's keep on going. So with this, they say that you can sign now and save later, letting you know that by sharing your tax info with Intuit.com, uh, Intuit being the company behind TurboTax, they can save you time and effort, uh, letting you know that they can track your refund as you're going, as well as find any account information that would be beneficial for you to know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit the continue button right here. And it is really important to read all of this information regarding your tax information that you are agreeing to send to Intuit. Once you have read that and if you approve it, you're gonna go ahead and fill out your first name, last name, today's date, and if you have a spouse that is filing with you, you're gonna to require to have their name, their last name, and today's date for them as well. If you would like, you can always print this page to have a record of it in your accounts, and then once everything looks good, we're gonna hit the continue button right here. And once we have added all of that information, they're gonna start running through our personal information. To get started with that, we're going to hit the blue continue button right here. Here, we're gonna get a little bit more personal, as the top says, and add in some information that they still require. One of the things, if you have a middle initial that you utilize, add it there. And if you have a title at the end of your name, junior, senior, or et cetera, we're going to add it here. It is going to be important to add our social security number right here. One of the things that we also need to add is our occupation right here. One of the things that they'd like to ask if you are a member of the armed forces, and you can go ahead and answer yes or no. They will also, in order to get more information on the state taxes that you'll be paying, ask you, which state you live in and had residence in during 2020. So for this, we lived in Arizona. Did we live in another state during 2020? We'll answer no. And then they are also gonna need a few other things. These include whether or not we're going to have a dependent on our tax return this year, whether we are blind when it comes to this year, and whether or not we are preparing this return for someone who has passed away. 
So we're gonna go ahead and fill all of this in and then meet you on the next page. Next, they're gonna confirm our marital status. So on this page, we are going to say whether or not we were single, married, divorced, legally separated, or widowed. For this instance of this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and hit the single button. And then once you have hit that, you're gonna hit the continue button right here. Now they're gonna ask us a little bit more about whether or not we have any children or dependents. So you will say either yes, you do, or no, you don't have any children or dependents. Again, for this video, we are gonna say that we do not have any dependents. Once you have that figured out, you're gonna hit the blue continue button right here. And then we are going to add our mailing address. We will need to add whether it, what type of mailing address it is, the address itself, whether or not we have an apartment or unit number, city, state, zip code, and also a phone number and whether or not that phone number has a extension. We're gonna go ahead and add all this information in and see you on the next screen. On this page, they're going to ask us whether or not we made any money in any other states. So some example of what counts for making money in another state includes living in one state and working in another, owning or inheriting a business, farm, or rental property, selling a home, gambling winnings, and if any of those are accurate, you're gonna go ahead and hit the yes button. If they are not accurate, you're gonna go ahead and hit no. For this, we are going to say that we have not made any money in any other states. And once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and hit the continue button right here. And after we have added all that information in, TurboTax comes in with the best filing status for you. For this, they have told us to file as someone single. Uh, and then they give you a detailed explanation here on why they have recommended that for you. And if you like, you can tell them whether or not this explanation was helpful. However, if this looks good, you're going to go ahead and hit the blue continue button right here. And that takes us to the personal info summary where they will have our name, our social security number, our birth date, our occupation, our residency, what status we're filing under, any dependents we might have, our address, and whether or not we had any other state income. If all of this looks good to you, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and hit continue. Here they're going to tell you a little bit more information about their MAX program, which offers some coverage when it comes to your taxes. Whichever you are going to pick, you can either say don't add or add. Next, they're going to ask you some questions on your income. So one of the things that you're going to need, you're going to need a W-2 and you are also going to need some information regarding income before starting tax breaks. So once you have that information handy, let's go ahead and get started. Here they're gonna ask you a little bit more information about your 2020 income, and you'll have the opportunity to add a W-2 if you haven't done so already. You can either add one here or not add one here. The other thing that they're gonna ask you is whether or not you had any holdings, company stocks or shares. We are gonna say that we did, and whether or not we made any money from interest. If you have any questions on what signifies a interest, this is from savings accounts, personal loans, certificates, treasury bonds, or if we have a 1099 INT. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and say that we did not. And here they're going to ask whether or not we are collecting money from a retirement fund. So if we have our form 1099R, if we have a 401k, an IRA, or a pension, we would add that information here. For this purpose, we are gonna say that we did not. Here they're asking us whether or not we have any capital losses that we carried over from 2019. If we have a capital loss carryover, uh, that exceeded our gains in 2019 by more than 3,000, we can apply that 3,000 excess capital loss each year to offset your ordinary income. Here they're asking whether or not we owned or controlled a foreign bank account, trust, or financial asset in 2020. And once you have added all of this information, you want to make sure to scroll up to make sure you added all of the information correctly. If all of your financial information and your income information looks good, you're gonna scroll back down to the bottom and hit the blue continue button right here. When it comes to our income, one of the things that we're going to need to add is our dividends on our 1099 DIV, as well as some of the information for our stocks, mutual funds, bonds, or other. Once we have all of that added, we are gonna go ahead and hit wrap up income. And as you can see, they're congratulating us for doing such a great job this year. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the blue continue button and be happy the fact that TurboTax is cheering us on along the way. Here they take us to the breakdown of pricing as well as what the each price entails. We are gonna scroll down to the bottom and see that we can either say no thank you, upgrade, or learn more about the live expertise and max benefits. We, for the purposes of this video, are gonna hit the no thanks button. 
And they let you know that just in case you decide to change your mind, you can always do that later on. Next, they're going to ask us about whether or not we are affected by any natural disasters in 2020. If you were, you're going to go ahead and hit yes. If you were not, you're going to hit no. And if you have more information to know whether or not you were affected, you can click this link here, as well as this link to see which natural disasters are allowed when it comes to the IRS. Once you have that added, you're going to hit the blue continue button right here. Next, they're going to ask us about cryptocurrency and virtual currency that we bought, sold, or exchanged during 2020. If you want to know about what kind of cryptocurrency they are talking about, you can click this link here. And then you can say whether or not you have or have not acquired, exchanged, or sold any virtual currency in 2020. For this video, we are going to say that no, we did not. Once you have that selected, you're going to hit the blue continue button right here. All right, so now we are on to deductions and credits. So through here, TurboTax is going to help us find the t best tax breaks that we can utilize for our taxes. So they're letting you know that right now they're going to work on tax breaks that they know about, as well as check to see if there are tax breaks that would work better for you. To get started, we're going to hit the button that is so named, let's get started. All right, so now they're going to help us find out which tax breaks we can get applied for us in 2020. So if we have made a payment on a student loan, we would add that information, yes, I did. Or if we did not, we would say, no, I didn't. Next, they're asking whether or not we attended a college or university and have expenses for that. And if we do, we're going to say, yes, we did. Now they're going to ask us about some medical expenses we might have had with an HSA or an MSA, very similar to the ones above. If we did or didn't, we'll have the options right here. And did we contribute to a traditional IRA or Roth IRA? So for this, we have the option of yes, I did, no, I didn't. And here they're also asking whether or not we contribute to a qualified retirement plan. We have our yes, I did, no, I didn't options here. And if all of that above information looks good, you're going to hit the blue continue button right here. Here you can see the different tax breaks that they have found for 2020. This has information for your home, you and your family, which includes childcare and other tax deductions, credits, and earned income any charitable donations that you made to a registered qualified charity, cars and other things that you might own, any education expenses. Here you can see a very specific tax relief related to COVID-19, medical, estimate and other taxes paid, retirement and investments, employment expenses, and other deductions and credits. With each one of these, you can click on the show more option to reveal a little bit more about the different options that are offered within each type of tax break. Once we have looked through all of our tax breaks to make sure we have found all of the ones that best fit our tax situation, we're gonna go ahead and hit wrap up tax breaks. And one of the things that's really cool about TurboTax is that they analyze whether or not the standard deduction is best for us or whether or not we should use an itemized deduction. For this video, we didn't take any deductions, so they're letting us know that the standard deduction would be the best one. However, if this doesn't look right to you, you can always change your deduction, and you can ask why would I change my deduction, where they will explain the process for you. They also have a link here to explain why those deductions exist and how they affect your tax refund. Once we have determined which deduction we are going to take, we are going to go ahead and hit the blue continue button right here. If we have any charitable tax donations that we have made, we are gonna enter them right here and then hit the blue continue button. And here we have moved on from deductions and credits to the other tax situations where they're going to see if we have any uncommon tax situations. This is a really cool feature of TurboTax where they look through all of their databases to see if based off the information you've added in, if there is a better tax plan that will work for you. We are going to go ahead and hit the button that says, let's get started. So they're gonna ask us a few more questions about whether or not these applied to us in 2020. So did we have a live-in nanny or household employee? They're also asking, did we designate $3 to the presidential campaign fund? Here they're asking us whether or not we have identity theft and if we have received an identity protection pin from the IRS and we can say whether we did or didn't. And if all the above information looks good to you, we're gonna go ahead and hit the blue continue button right here. All right, so for our federal information, this is all the information they need. So they're gonna go ahead and wrap up the process. And to do that, we're gonna go, let's keep going, this little blue button right here. For the year 2020, they will also ask if we received a stimulus payment for 2020. If you're a little curious why they're asking that, you can click right here. And if you need information on what the payment amount was, you can find that here as well. 
For this, we're gonna go ahead and hit yes, and then hit the blue continue button to get to the next page. Next, they're gonna let us know that they've crunched the numbers and things look right. And here you'll see that based on our tax info and payment we've entered, they are confident that we got the stimulus that we qualified for. So if that looks right and it is information regarding our stimulus, we're gonna hit the blue continue button right here. And as you can see, there were no health insurance questions here, but they were just checking to see if we have our 1095A. The law was changed, as you can see here, that we no longer require to report your health insurance coverage status based on your federal tax return, but we will still need to enter our 1095A info if we have purchased health insurance through a healthcare marketplace. For this, we are gonna say that we do not have a 1095A for 2020. If you do have a 1095A, you can enter that form here. All right, so as you can see over here on the left-hand side, we have finished with our federal taxes and are moving on to our state taxes. To make sure our state taxes are done, we're gonna review this section here where they'll let us know that they're gonna require, look over our state requirements, search for tax breaks, and will help ensure that we are submitting these accurately. To get started, we're gonna hit the blue continue button right here. All right, so as we can see here, when it comes to Arizona tax forms, they have not been made public yet. So we can continue without our state forms, or if we live in another state, choose another state. For this purpose, we're gonna hit the continue without state button. Here it'll say that unfortunately some tax forms just aren't ready because we're doing such a great job getting our tax information done early. So you'll see here that two forms that we need in order to complete our tax return are not available. So we can always hit the sign up for email notifications to make sure that as soon as those forms become available, we'll be able to get our tax return completed. Once we have clicked on that, we're gonna go ahead and click the blue continue button right here. And one more time, they're gonna go ahead and make a pitch for their max coverage program. All right, so as you can see, TurboTax doing it again by letting us know how great we're doing right now. So if we want to make sure that we can continue, it'll make sure that we lock in the early tax filing price and all of our information will be saved for the federal return. They again here are letting us know that our federal income may be complete. However, the state information and some of the tax documents for the review have not been finalized yet, so we'll have to come back and finish our tax return at a later date. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the blue continue button right here. And here we'll be able to make sure that we just have a few steps left when it comes to filing our taxes, reviewing our taxes, our refund and payment info, as well as getting ready to save and file our returns when they become available. So for this process, we're gonna go ahead and hit the blue start button right here. And again, they're letting us know that we are so close to the finish line, letting us know that we have the TurboTax Deluxe plan, which has all of this information available for what that plan entails. Again, down here at the bottom, they will include the max benefits and all of the benefits that that program comes with. If you decide here that you do wanna add max, you can add it right here. However, if you decide that you don't want it, you can then proceed onto your payment options. Here you'll enter in all the information of your credit card, and once all of that has been added in correctly, you will go ahead and hit pay now. And as I mentioned before, you can click on the link below in the show notes to bring you to the beginning of this process so you can get started with your taxes. And if you'd like to learn about the different tiers that TurboTax offers, you can click on this video right here. My name is Eddie and we'll see you in the next video.